Welcome. Welcome. Mm. 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 242, the Dominion Hockey Challenge Cup. 242. Yeah, the podcast. Zero miedo. Do you have down? Uh, how you doing, Matt? Uh, I'm good. This weekend was very busy. Uh, we did our Wizardy weekend, and we only did one day of it because the second day was completely. Not well. If it, it rained, yeah. which we usually would have sat through and probably mm. made no money, but crushed. But our tent. We, we came there, and our tent was completely well, literal, waterlogged so badly that it was bent. All the legs had been out. Um, and we couldn't use the tent anymore, so we couldn't just sit out in the rain with our stuff. So we uh, we packed it up. So we've had a version of this beer before. This one's called Voodoo Ranger Atomic Pumpkin, the special release. I think you're gonna love this one. Man. It smells great. Yeah. What do you think of that? Probably one of the best. Was the other one hot? I thought it was hot, yeah. wasn't it? Okay, this, this was a little, little yeah. it feel a little bite in there, too. They feel, yeah, because there's pumpkin in there, too. I like it. The pumpkin flavor is yeah. great. Yeah, this is a little bit of bite in there, though. Like, I usually, and this is actually pumpkin. This isn't just pumpkin spices. So you can taste yeah. the pumpkin. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Yeah. When, I, when I first had this, I was like, Matt will love this. I'm definitely saying. I don't know what you mean so long to drink that. Um, well, I, I actually kind of held off from myself from grabbing because I wanted to have it around Halloween. Oh, wow. Which we just had, and uh, it was a good time. Because we forgot to dress up. It's like the first year we forgot to dress up for Halloween. We for didn't forget to dress up, it just the podcast felt like in the middle of, you know, it's a, it, it posted oh, after Halloween. Up, I, I can still dress I can still dress up if you want me to pause, pause and then, uh, I'm just as Batman. Here, we have uh, this costume. That's, 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 that's what Connor wore. That's his dragon costume. That's I, a that. dragon, man. I thought he was one of the PJ Masks when he's. You know, I thought you, I saw you talking about that. No, he wanted to. He, he if there's at the mall, there was like if we would have given him that choice, thirty five percent PJ Masks. He would have done it if we would have given him the choice. Like thirty five percent, I'd say. But we conservatively, just, yeah. I was like, geez, I didn't know this was a thing. I've never heard or seen the show. I personally call it PJ Trash because it is trash. I've never, I've never heard or seen the show before. Oh, that really it's just the kids that like they see a crime happen in the daytime. They wait till nighttime. Leave their homes, and they put on pajamas that give them special powers. So, so, so we have this tracks. Okay, so, so, the, so one person heard it. She goes with Owlette. She has the, the power of basically like some kind of weird true sight where she can like, like see around corners and whatnot. Uh, she can fly, and that's you know like an owl. That's some owl can. Yeah, like an owl. Uh, this this cat boy. Remember the uh, Eddie Murphy show? Animation show called the PJs from like 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> I do remember. There's, there's, that's there's, our basis. <laughs> by the way, basically the the, un, the unannounced third man. He's always here. He's the been here every episode. He's been, been here every there, episode. Yeah, yeah, he's a six man. Trivia. Trivia. He's been here every every episode actually. Even Sometimes he just doesn't yeah. talk. He waits. Yeah. Or I pee in he the corner. Looks, or he pee. Yeah, there's a lot of pee in that corner. There's a lot of pee in the corner. It's like disturbing. you should have cleaned it up. Months ago, it's it's off. Okay, so so cat cat boy, okay. he runs super cat fast. Boy. He runs super fast. He can do like cat acrobatics. Like a cat, uh, and he gets his cat hearing. Okay, so okay. it's very cat. So you think, and he's the leader. So you think, oh, he's the best powers. Here's the third guy's prize. He's a gecko. He has super strength, like a gecko. He can climb on walls. Okay, a gecko can do that. He can turn invisible. Like sort of like he can fucking like teleport it sometimes. That's a he teleports sometimes. I don't think a gecko does that. I don't think a gecko does that. He sometimes teleports. I don't think a gecko does that. And he's not the leader of the group. Also, super strength doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's a spider, isn't it? PJ trash. PJ trash. Also, and basically what they do is they... What is that on? Who is that? Netflix? Uh, it's a Disney show, but so I think it's on like Disney XD or oh, something like that. Okay. But uh, we watch it on... Uh, it's on Netflix right now. It is on Netflix. Uh, and uh, we, But we usually watch it on YouTube because people tape it and put it on YouTube, basically. Um, <gasps> but uh, it's legal. It's on YouTube. Um, the uh, Like, basically what, what they do every episode, every episode, without fail, is a bad guy does something dumb. They go to, like, get the thing... Like, he usually steals something, so they go to get the thing he stole back... They they don't do anything correctly, then they work together and do something correctly. Then the bad guy just literally walks away. He doesn't even, like they don't catch him. Okay, he's, I he's gotta a go. Thief. He's like a, sometimes a grand like grand theft plane in one episode, and they just let him walk away. And they're heroes. Don't do it again. Then I say they're just like we did a good job, guys. And the, the bad guy's like, oh, okay. So I'm, I'm just, just like, gonna, I'm go. just gonna go. I'm just gonna, yeah, literally every episode, every episode, and like. And there's no police. There's no... The army doesn't come in. They steal army planes at one point, and they're like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a show. 
And like, and, and, and there's, there's, there's one episode where like, we, oh, I have to make a choice. I have these, I have two cost tickets. I only give them to one of my two best friends. And so the, the whole episode, they're trying to fight to be best friends. And at the end, someone's like, here's your extra concert ticket. And like, what? Then they don't learn a lesson. No consequences. No consequences. This, then, no, but learn it. No consequences. Thing. God, what? There are no consequences in this world. <laughs> Rough. Okay. Let's talk about stuff. Hey, you know what? I, I might, my week by is the way, great, by the way, guys. By the way. I'll finish mine. It was good. Thanks. Thanks for asking. No one cares. Anymore. Matt, I, we did a poll. Nobody cares how your week's going. You said everybody cares. No, that was last week. That was two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago. There's this another week, poll? Yeah, we did one this week. I have another vote in it, but, I, you know, it's kind of, it's was turning a little for me. So it sounds, it's, it sounds tainted. Well, it's Here's a good really sample good size of one. Good hmm. Let's talk about some stuff. Because some stuff happened, man. We had Paris Games Week. We did. For instance... One big thing. Let's talk about the biggest thing. I, you know, I forgot to watch. Oh, did you watch the Detroit Being Human trailer? I forgot to. I, went, oh, I, I mean forgot to. Oh, no, I brought to. I left it on my Facebook. Oh, Wayne Did you watch it? Or what? Did you watch it? Of course I did. Okay, how was it? It was fucking awesome. I can't wait to play. The I game. heard people are crying. That's what I heard. It's the, it there like are some emotional. Like there, because basically it's showing you like every choice you can make, and like it's in there. Like it's deep. Like they, they, they get, they get, basically you're you're protecting someone from getting abused, and like you can make just one wrong choice, like one kind of little path that leads oh, you down this path. Funny thing is, terrible gets that. killed. Terrible. With that. Like, like it, show, it literally shows a guy like like strangling the girl out, and it doesn't show her like kill like him actually kill her, but then it's like she's dead. Quantic like, dream is terrible. Yeah, and I'm just yeah. like. I don't want to live that path. The, that's like <laughs> that's like their game. That is the, that's, that's the, the game darkest is, timeline. Their games like like the choices you make sometimes have terrible consequences. Yeah. Right? Like it's not like one of those games where well, like, and it feels he, like every consequence is kind of shady. It's well, not like oh, there's all good consequences. Well, the thing, the thing like, is, is with Beyond Two Souls, that world. kind of happened. Yeah. Where some of the some of the time, like there was no real. So it happens with heavy. Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah it's heavy it's, rain. Though there was. Yeah, you know? but like you can't you can't really die in in Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, I don't think I don't really think that I had a. And bad so a lot of people were upset too. about that because because like yeah. they liked the fact that like if you yeah. messed up too much, there was a bait. Like heavy rain was tough. Heavy rain was tough because. Another part of it is like you get those quick time events, and if you don't get them right, you're okay. That could have dire consequences. Or sometimes if character. the controller doesn't work correctly. I remember doing one with the dude with the with the drug the glasses, glasses dude. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, no, no, and I I didn't know what I was doing, and I died, and I was like, I was literally oh. pressing the right buttons, and it was oh. not, and it wasn't registering. I was like, come on, man. Okay, um, that was a PS3. I was like, I so, guess I can't even, blast PS3. I can't even like reset this. Like, yeah, it's like already it happened. <laughs> I have to go back and do it all over again if I want him to live. But. Uh, um, yeah, no, but this looks like it's definitely the 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 best evolution so far of that system, uh, and like it actually what it did was it what, like it put a cool iconograph on the screen that like showed the, the the garden of forking paths of your choices, and that was really cool. Yeah. Um, you know, so it wasn't. A, I'm it, all for it. It wasn't a trailer as much as it was like just kind of displaying it's a, tech a weird demo. gameplay yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a tech yeah. demo. Yeah, 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 yeah. makes sense. Um, but that's so cool because that's kind of like what people really want to see. They already. Are gonna buy it. most people that are quantic three marks like, yeah, well, us, like us like are us. gonna buy it. Um, I bought Beyond Two Souls. I still own it, so I like. I don't own it still, but I, I love the game. I, I enjoyed it even for what it was worth. Um, I bought visual for not cool. those. Uh, I have to erase a lot of stuff because it's so weird. Well, it's still I'm like it's still there. I still own it. it just there's not. Um, he got it for Willem Dafoe, of course. That's right, Spider Man. Um, but I'm excited to learn more about that. But yeah, let's. Well, what other trailers you got before we get to the big one? Did you see the God of War trailer? I did. Uh, that was the, it was the gameplay trailer. Yeah, that was gameplay, yeah. and it looked good. I love. Uh, also, he's got like a Mjolnir axe thing going on. I'm like, I'm cool with that. Yeah, uh, I like what they've done by uh, imbibing a new life into the character, because I love the old and by new life, life, like he's like Logan basically now. Well, he's like, I, I love the old God of War man. Games. I love them for what they're worth. They were they were crazy sometimes over the top, um, but they were a lot of fun. Uh, but this character is a different being. You know, he's got a kid now. He's not. He's not all piss and vinegar. Yeah. He's not like I will calliope. I will kill this minotaur yeah. now. Fuck some bitches. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Now, now he's like, oh, I got a kid here. Just hang back a little bit. So Earmuffs. Okay. You know, yeah, listen. Like, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> like he's like, and, and obviously, like we're two people that can like really yeah. relate to that being fathers. You know, and and, and knowing that we do anything for a child and and so yeah, like including so, kill. Yeah, a giant beast, including murder giant beasts. Murder. Do we have to fight the world snake? I hope not. Do we, have, we don't have to fight the world the snake. Right? 
Can somebody say we don't have to fight the world snake? Because I don't want to do well, that. Well, we don't know that yet. You yeah. absolutely okay. have to fight. You, probably, you probably have to fight the world wolf. It's probably the last boss. That 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 big wolf. I don't remember that what the name of that one is, but uh, world snake. No, no, you're just no. That's world tree. I don't remember. Them. It's too many world things. But but yes, I I love the God of War games, and this is the first of all the. Um, the graphics upgrade is amazing. It looked very Last of yeah. Us 2 uh, as well yeah. as uh, sure. when they sure. had the little kid shooting arrows at the guy from yeah. behind and stuff yeah. like that. And I was like, that's sure. like very Ellie like trying to hit for The Last of Us. But and that's a good formula to come. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, and, with, and Chris Judge doing the voice is, is sure. great. Yes. So far, like spot on. Uh, and what and I want to hear just, from that character. Dude, Kratos is a great character in gaming, in all gaming, really. So just to bring him back and, and give, give him, him depth. a refresh and give him depth, give him yeah, depth. Sure. Like that's, that's the thing. That's why I didn't really like the God of War games because he's yeah. like, "I'm going to kill everyone." I'm like, okay, I get it. And, and then I, he kills everyone. You're like, okay, he killed everyone. I agree with people who think that. I, I don't. I don't think that's a bad thought. I just like the games. Yeah, more than most. No, you gotta because you like the gameplay yeah. for what it is. Yeah, and that's fine. Um, kind of like Shadows of Shadows of uh, War. Like, <laughs> so you just beat that. How, how I did? Without spoilers, what did you think? Um. Lore, their lore was so far off, it almost took me out of the game. But I, I loved it. It was a lot of fun game. Because you're because this guy's believe it or not, this guy's a Lord of the Rings nerd. Like he knows a lot of stuff. I have an his wizard shirt on. Uh, that's for Harry Potter guys. It's different. Different yeah, wizards, exactly. right? Different wizards. Um, but uh, they weren't fond of clay and bird and wind and fire. They weren't part of the Narodrum. Uh, but um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, there's the lore is very off, but for if you if you can suspend that or you don't know the lore, it doesn't really matter. Did it put you off at first, and you had to like kind of get back to it? Or no, you like, know okay, the lore what didn't bother me at first, but then there's because like, you heard Camille like, 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 two... and like yeah, oh, uh, Camille Camille's character is funny. Uh, <laughs> Did you recruit him um, instead of killing? I couldn't dominate him back then because oh, I, right. I I found him early in the game. Yeah. Like instead of killing me, maybe you can not kill me and just <laughs> let me go. <laughs> Uh, uh, he actually he was the first guy that killed me oh really yeah because I, I did, pressed the wrong button in the quick time event Ooh. and I was like no Ooh. it's like see I told you I would kill you or something like that it was like something yeah. like, like hilariously garbage um, and it, he was he was pretty funny but there's a lot of like funny orc moments uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do um, with the, the domination power like sometimes if you do, if you shame a guy into like you're you're a little bitch. Uh, sometimes it like hurts them. Sometimes it makes them deranged. So the next time you see them, like, wah, wah. like they can't even talk. Just like yeah. it's like say garbage it's stuff. Messed up. And sometimes they turn into a maniac. It makes their level like twenty levels higher. Ooh. <laughs> so it's like don't shame people. Yeah, Everybody, so there's no reason to shame anyone. No, there, there? there's uh, there's one guy who shamed this one. I saw it on YouTube. He shamed the guy like six times. And the guy just he kept coming up to him and be like. <laughs> the first two times, like, please kill me, stop <laughs> shaming me, and then he's like, and then he's he's like, wah, wah. like, oh <laughs> yeah. we hit one, like, there's a, the levels of the the yeah. guys that are usually like around twenty, yeah, yeah, hit yeah. a one because <laughs> he kept shaming the guy every time he found him. I was like, damn, poor guy. I felt bad for him. Poor orc, stupid orc. Um. Oh yeah, I mean they can't all be the they can't but all be the, the world the, beaters, the, right? The 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 system is really cool. It's really interesting. Uh, the dynamic between uh, Talion, the ranger guy that you are, and mm -hmm. the Bright Lord, who's the wraith elf guy who's hanging out with you. There's a big twist in the end that changes a lot of it and makes it become one way. No, no, oh. no. Um, uh, I'm um, the same. No, uh, but it, they try to fit it into the lore that way. They're like just, but it's like. It's like punching a peg into a round hole. Man, it's do, like, do, you, do you get to like, do you get to bump Shalem? Shalem is hot. AF. That's for ass fuck. Uh, and and other kids out there. Listen, uh, this episode might be called Boner Confusion because of that. That's all I'm saying. It's not going to be called Boner Confusion. Boner Confusion. You can't just say, oh, this episode's going to be called Savino because Savino because this is in this box Savino? You couldn't even say it right the first time. We're going to call Savino. Whatever. Um, but it's definitely Bonner confused. She's like, oh, it's a big spider. Oh, she's a hot lady. I don't... Why did you turn to hot... Like, she did not have this power, by the way. Well, she, she might have. have. No. She, she was might just, have, right? She was a spider. <laughs> she was... So saying this one of the lore She wasn't even models. a giant spider. Ungoliath was the, her her mom, Ooh. who was a giant spider who could talk. Ooh. Shalab maybe could talk, but sort of 
I think she did talk, actually. But yeah, she, she was just did. a spider. Yeah. Like, on Goliath, if anyone had a shape of power, maybe she did. But when she came to yeah. Earth, she picked to be a spider. That was her thing. She's like, I want to be a spider. And like, she's like, an alien or something? And we're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. Sure. If you want to be a spider, weird, but okay. Uh, gross, dude. <laughs> gross. You can be a big old gross spider. However many eyes you want up there. Go for it. Um... But that it was a good game. Um, it would like I said though, if you you don't know the lore, it's a great game. If you do know the lore, it's like uh, I almost take you cognitive out. distance. I'll tell you if you want me to tell you about it later. I'll speaking tell you speaking about some lore busting stuff, stuff, I played the second episode of uh, Life is Strange before the storm. I haven't played the first one yet. How and is it? it's the, the the game is the game will make you like Chloe if you don't like her. If you're a like her, you're gonna you're gonna think I did. Yeah, I did not, and I was like. And her character is great, and the story was, is fun. The story is cool dirty. The story, dirty. especially for like, um, I was cool that she was a shipper. How quick I felt like the game was made. It actually is a lot of fun. The choices feel feel meaningful. Um, the you know the little vignettes and little little scenes are great. Okay. Uh, like like you get to play D and D in the first one, and this one, uh, if you choose, if you choose, if you can choose not to do it as well. But if you choose. You can be, you can stand in for someone in a play, and so you like have to memorize their lines and say them at, at a time, which is hilarious because you can do that or you can not do that, you know, or you can mess up a little bit and say a different line and, and confuse the person you're you're with. But I actually memorize all the lines, guys, because I'm a professional. And so I hope you do. Standing ovation. And it was uh, they did I did a uh, play uh, they did um a version of the Tempest. <laughs> And so, so you uh, you played Ariel, one of the spirits. So this is like you have to pick from four different sets of lines or something. Yeah, like that? yeah, and like one of them was like just like screw this amount and one of it's like the the actual line, and one of it's like something close to the line. Like I didn't actually read it, but I skimmed over it, so I picked this one kind of thing. And one, and then one is like you know I'm gonna say a funny line so I can be funny kind of thing because she's hilarious and ruin yeah. this play because yeah. she's a jerk. Which I had to do that because I'm a professional. That's it. That's, 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 I said it earlier. Speaking of jerks, like. Um, Tyrese and the oh, Rock are having some kind of are having some oh, kind of weird hey real beef. They're having a real beef about Fast and Furious Nine, and there's a couple Fast and Furious Nine. Fast yeah. Furious Nine is coming out. That by the way, the they're stuff. ending the series of Fast Furious Ten. Yep. Just so you know, no, so no. you know, and so you know. I know. That's what he knows. Um. Okay. Fast Furious Nine. So Tyrese and the Rock <laughs> were having like kill it with fire. I like those movies, but they need to stop. Tyrese was just shitting on the rock for what we thought was no reason, but I guess Tyrese is having like, like a, a really a, bad divorce and he has like no money right now. Yep. So he needs to start. Well, and basically, what happened is the rock is it was approached privately. Yeah. For a spinoff with him and Jason Statham, he said yes to it because he's a person. Well, he that, told. Well, I guess he told Tyrese he might not do it or he wouldn't do it because, and then he said yes. So this made Tyrese. Furious, and he just like flamed him on Twitter. Like, yeah. Twitter, face. He said, he said um, "I'm sorry to announce that if Dwayne is Dwayne. in Fast Nine, that there will be no more Roman Pierce, which you spelled Pierce wrong for some reason, but that's fine. <laughs> but also, is he the character people are looking for? I understand why he's. <laughs> this was gonna happen. This was gonna happen. Like, what happened to Roman? Like, he died, and they're just gonna move. On. <laughs> oh, he family. He went to family. Family. He's dead. He's he's dead. He's like dead. like how we didn't kill off uh, yeah, the guy who's actually this character. We definitely definitely did. he's hundred percent dead. Family. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna CGI his head on like a dude and then just explode the car with him. In. I'm exploding! <laughs> like, explode. Uh, <laughs> um, hopefully, he'll still be in the Transformers movies, though. With Josh Duhalalong? The Hamo. The Hamo? Do Fergie's husband. Is he still in those? I don't know. Is he still Fergie's husband? I don't know. <laughs> um, but so, um, just so you know, the, the Rock Statham spinoff is slated for 2019, and the Fast and Furious 9 is slated for 2020. 20, yeah. um, and. Uh, nine nine fast, nine. So the tenth movie will come out in 2052, and then yeah, ten fast, ten furious, and they'll be in, they'll obviously be shooting their cars. And Ron Pierce will be back in that one because he'll be like, I still need the money. Yeah, I, I do need money. Like, dude, they're not gonna call your bluff, okay? Yeah. <laughs> they don't need you in this movie. They have eighteen other stars. They need something at the Rock. They're fine. They have Jason Statham. They have yeah, a they ton of other people them. in yeah, this don't movie. Need those people, yeah. Jesus, they have The Rock and they have Vin Diesel. They're fine. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Roman Pierce, we really miss you, side character. Bye. Uh, I'm the other main character. Mm. Eh, ish. We got Shia LaBeouf to play you. Can yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, exactly. That, that, <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> he got plastic surgery. Hey, just do it. He's like, yeah, I'm white now. Like, oh, jeez, why are you screaming? Uh, Call me Mutt. Oh, no. No, not Mutt. 
Oh, okay, we forgot to talk about the, the biggest trailer of uh, the Paris. Bing, the, the Paris stuff. Bing, bing, the Paris. Bing, oh, you got the Spider-Man trailer. Let's do that one first. Oh. I thought that was the biggest Okay, trailer. let's talk about the Spider-Man trailer. I thought it was great. It was cinematic. Okay. Miles Morales is Let's in talk it. about the way the people looked in it. Oh, no. Yo, I'm glad you said something about this. I no, I, I think I told you this. No, no I'm like... Awesome I, I watch it. They look like garbage. Like <laughs> look like people that don't know how to they draw. They look like people. CGI from like 2005. They actually look like the guys that draw Shenmue, like a lot, like uh, Shenmue. Maybe looking, yeah, Shenmue. Like, yeah. like a very, uh, Maybe, a very yeah. Japanesey looking. It was really character. weird. It took me a lot out of it. Like and also like they were walking. It was just like very straight walking. And I was like, like I don't know if this is like an alpha or something. I, and by the way, still completely buying this game. But like I was just like, uh, what is going on? Yeah, like the Sp- <laughs> Spider Man looks great in it. Yeah, and then they show those guys like. What like Peter Parker on? looked like his head was bigger than Spider Man's head, and I was like, "You have the same head. That's just the easiest thing to do. Just make your heads the same head." And I feel like uh, it's not the same that, head. That hurts a lot. But I, like, I'm looking at people like, "What?" But Matt, I I might have a scoop for you, Matt. Did you know that there's a second playable character, Miles Morales? Miles. Spider Man. No. Mary Jane Watson is going to be playable, guys. Why? That's right. For people that were like. Why can't I play as Mary Jean Watson? Does she just walk around and go shopping? No, she's actually a reporter for the Daily Bugle in this uh, in this iteration, and you play as her. And they said, the, and, and the, get this, man, the scoop, the scoop from the developer is that the gameplay will be very different. I assume she wasn't be web uh, web sling, so. <laughs> Really, I have webs too. <laughs> really, guys, really, tell me more. She'll, about she'll this. be taking weird pictures or something. Like. <laughs> Press the web sling button to take a picture. <laughs> so Matt, Matt, two playable characters at least, and then Miles Morales in there. If it's so co-op, and I get to be Mary Jane, then I'll be in it. And you can. I'm sing. in love you, with you, Mary Jane. You can like check me out and swing around. <laughs> Come on, jeez, man, you forgot me. You like, dude, you forgot me again. And, and while you're swinging uh, around, my job is to take pictures. Like I can't do anything. Obviously, uh, I have no offensive weapon, so I'm just like taking. Like, pictures. can you just take a bus or something, man? I gotta go across town. <laughs> Like, save me again! <laughs> like, you, you gotta come with all the heads in your or something. Man, like, okay, here I come, man. Can I can beat up the rhino and I just take pictures. Like, I can't fight. I can just take pictures. I, that's all I can do for my character. Maybe after you knock out the rhino, I go, you got knocked the fuck out. I put a microphone in his face, like, <laughs> tell me about it. You're getting knocked out. <laughs> I like, I kill you, I crush you. <laughs> um, excited. Are you excited for this to sound that kid? I still love that suit, by the way. I still love the, the white suit. Spider. I love the suit. Love the white I don't know why the suit looks so much better than everything else in the game, though. Does that make sense? Well, that's the thing. Like, they spent so much. It feels like they spent so yeah. much time on Spider Man that they yeah. didn't care about the other like, characters. I'm hoping this is just alpha <laughs> footage or something, and they like they just clean it up a little bit at least. Yeah, I hope yeah it looked it looked like uh, like Peter Parker looked like um like just uh, like a dude that had a lot of Botox, and so he like his face stopped moving, and he's, he's like him and Miles Morales yeah. are walking. It looked, it looked like, like the shitty version of uh, Mass Effect and Drama. It looked like someone like copy pasted uh, Peter Parker's model ad and then darkened it to be Miles Morales. Yeah. And I was like, what it, the it fuck? It might be. It might be worse. Than, it's probably worse than Mass Effect and Drama first first range first pass through. But it's like, who looks at that and like, yeah, that's good. Like whoever's who's the supervisor, that's who needs to be fired and beat up. I thought it was like Mass Effect and Drama when they're like when a face is like. I didn't have it right now. You're like, what is? Like, what I'm mean? really upset, and I'm gonna punch you right now. Like, oh, that's. Oh, jeez. And not even like, not even this, because this like, is more detail than the face. This is 2017. Like, like this, is, this, is, this is the future. We are in the future, guys. We're living the future, and this is what you sent us. Okay. <laughs> you sent us something from ten years ago. Like, some how, bullshit. I'm like, and they made it look worse than the previous game. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it hurts a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Um. I might just borrow your copy. <laughs> you you uh, haven't played it yet? No, Spider Man. No, oh. I played Mass Effect. I quit. It's like, what? Wait, what? I sold that back already for $5. Because I oh, wouldn't take That's all I paid for. Oh, I was like, God, let's keep this. I should. I don't know. I still have it, Matt. I played some multiplayer the other day. Wow. I just, I just boot up Destiny again. I got a Solarian Architect. Um, well, whatever, dude. Let's talk about that. Best that, that oh, trailer. trailer. That okay. trailer. That so, trailer. The Last of Us 2 had, they debuted their new trailer. It was a five minute long trailer. Five minutes long. Yeah. It, was in, it was a trailer. It was like and a it scene. Was visceral as fuck. Like, it, it was, was crazy. Brutal. I was watching it work and I was just, I like looked around so I was like, geez. Yeah. Like, should I be watching? And I was actually, I was watching it here with Jamie and Jamie was like, what is that? And I was like, yeah. And it looked, some ladies are, it looks beautiful and terrible. It yeah. was, 
It was like Gladriel when she wears the ring. Which is the, the what, Mass, what Mass Effect. Well, that's what it is. You know, it's yeah. just like, it's beautiful and terrible. It's um, great. But it had nothing to do with the main characters that you've seen that you know of, right now that we know of. Anyway. But there was a character that you thought at first was... I thought it was Ellie at first. Character, I was like, yeah. oh, wait, that doesn't really look like her, though. I was like, is she really a lot older? See, I, I watched it on, on my, my phone for a second, so when I, when I told you that, you're like, no, I think it was a different person. I went back and looked at it, I'm like, oh. Yeah, because I looked at her face, and I was like... It doesn't. It looks different. It doesn't have like, the sound either. So I, I was just, like, like maybe she video. like grew like a different face or something. Like she grew so up like or something. A different like, face. Like her nose was a little longer, and I was like, I don't know what's going the on. The cordyceps is growing a different nose. Also, her abs were fucking jacked as fuck. Point. Like she was doing the crunch smile. She right? was not skipping the crunch. Like, she was the WWE she did a fitness champion. smile. She was a women's champion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she was in shape, hard. Like her forearms, her freaking biceps were were great. Um, but it was like. Very, so like the sexy it was stuff. very confusing. Like I was like, "What?" And then who's the sex? I'm like, "Okay, so she grew up, and then the sex that she, the like group of regular ass Joes turned into like some religious sect." Yeah. I didn't get what's going on. Um, and then I I watched something from IGN, and I was like thinking about it, I'm like, "Oh," and like, "Yeah, this probably isn't Ellie. This is because it's not like Ellie too, but it's not. It's actually Laura Bailey doing the voice for that." Yes, character. and they, and they gave you a hint that the character is a different one because they put as and then they. They redact the the name of the person, which yeah. is kind of cool. But we, but from the comics and from uh, um, the not the prequel, but the, it's, yeah, the prequel, yeah, the prequel. We yeah. know that yeah. that Ellie has a mother named Anna. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people just you know kind of. So a lot of people have have uh, glommed onto the theory that this woman in the trailer is Anna herself. Yeah, and they actually, when she's hung up, when she takes a knife, she takes it to her stomach. Yeah, and she says, like, yes, the abomination or something. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Something like that. Like abomination yeah. or something like that. Um, and so, like, oh, she has a baby, and they're not allowed to have that in this religious sect or something. And she's part, it's, it seems like she is part of whatever this is. And so, she is, like, blasphemous against whatever their rule is for the sect. And these two little eight, like an Asian girl, Asian boy who look like they might be related, comes, yeah, come save twins her. even, yeah, yeah. Uh, come save her, sort of. Re- uh, it's almost reluctantly because the girl gets brutally damaged in the trailer. <laughs> oh, jeez! And like, it's a lot more cool about it than I would be. I, I mean, first of all, the per- her uh, Anna Anna getting hung was already like, like. And they put a little heavy material. Oh. And then, like, they like, oh, clip her wings, and they put her down, oh, and, and I pin her to the ground. They're gonna they bash out. your arm with a hammer. And you, like, watch this whole thing happen. And you're like, what? The? And then watch the bones move in her arm as yeah. they smash. Yeah. And you're like, and what? The and fuck? the graphics on this are the probably the best graphics I've ever seen. I've ever seen any any game ever. Yeah, but also so brutal because of that. Because you're like, and it's probably a cutscene too. It's not probably the actual. Yeah, look at cutscene. But, cut but still, 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 it was brutal. <laughs> it's like. What the <sighs> hell? And and now it's like, now we have this question, okay, if this is uh, Ellie's mom, who is long dead in the first mm-hmm. one, is there a prequel versus a flashback, flash forward? Like, what's going Maybe on? Maybe, like, you learn game. more about her, and then they play yeah. as her when you learn about I it. Don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want that. I would be okay with that. Because I, I, I don't know. That was, um, uh, I've seen it in a couple of games, and I, I it can be portrayed well, and I know that... That uh, that Naughty Dog can't portray that well. I well. want this to be Ellie's story. So if they do an Anna flashback and they do it right, I'm okay with that. But I want this to be Ellie's story. I, I want Joel. any flashback. I miss to be... Joel. He probably will be dead. He has he's game. probably he's dead. He's, he's probably dead. Uh, <laughs> See our theory in episode uh, 234. We're going to post it right here and we're not going to look for it. Um, <laughs> it won't be there. Um, but uh, I want this to be Ellie's story. I want to play as her. I want her to be the main character. So I don't want this to convolute it too much. If it's good background information that makes sense and it matters to the story, yes. I definitely want that. I want, Especially how this world this trailer was. Like, I guess there's a lot of people complaining about how it was... This is, like, people are saying games are too violent. This is, like, what, like basically, like, uh, putting forth the stereotype. But get over it. If you don't want to play this game, don't, don't play, play it. Don't play it. Yeah, like, it's... A, it, this game is not for everyone. They it's, want to tell a story. Neil Druckmann, and frightening. Neil Druckmann wants to tell a story, and he, and he's told amazing stories so far. Everyone knows. So if this isn't for you, story. don't play it. Please That's, don't. I don't want you to play it. Simple. I want you to not watch this. Neil show. Druckmann doesn't want you to play it. That's why he's not going to put like stupid multiplayer in this game. It's like, the, it's like the Quantic Dream games. If you know what you're getting into when you get into them. So if you're like, oh, I didn't like this game, that's your fault. You're, you're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> like, look anything up about this game. <laughs> so... 
Uh, I, I'm still very excited about it. Uh, I just, like I said, I hope they do the flashback right because it was like very because there's nothing involved in the first trailer, so it was very almost detached from the first. Trailer. Uh, actually, I kind of like that too because it feels like like it feels like they're setting something else up. But it did show you the poster view that we talked about. Yes, the, and, and the that maybe is now instead yeah. of because I thought it was Ellie, but maybe maybe it's Anna. No, I'm 100 percent sure it is because they played that the big beefy arm. They showed the beefy <laughs> arm with the hammer out like it exactly yeah. was in the poster. I'm like, oh, that's, okay, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, show me more. But I'm I'm gonna be always excited for. A Naughty Dog game until they until they, until they fuck it up. Yeah, until they fuck it up. Yeah, <laughs> is there is there ball? Is yeah, there game yeah. to lose? Yeah, it's like Mass Effect and Trauma. <laughs> There's not been a bad Naughty Dog game, game that I've you played. lost in Mass Effect and Trauma. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> and that's EA's fault, man. It's EA's fault. I'm sad about well, that. Well, that's why we'll never get this. Uh, so so Matt, get excited because the biggest news this week: the Lion King cast has added Beyonce as Nala. You ready for this, Matt? The live action. Oh, uh, they also James Earl Jones is confirmed as uh, Mufasa. Confirmed as, well. as Mufasa. So, ooh, say it again. So we got Donald Glover and Beyonce and Keegan Michael Key as one of the hyenas, uh, which is named Kamari, I think, or Kamari or something like that. Kamari? Yeah. Kamari. Kamari from uh, not Samari. No, Kamari is uh, the guy from uh, Dragon Age. Right? No, I don't know. You're thinking of. Of Kimari from Final Fantasy X, maybe? Maybe. maybe. I don't know. He's a blue guy. I don't know. He's a blue guy with a white hair. <laughs> That's on. your thing, I guess. Okay. Kimari, smell bad. <sighs> yeah, we know. Um, we know Kimari. Okay. Um, no, Kamari is one, oh. one of the... Uh, what? Not Kamari. Kamari. What are you... you perbs. Why am I surrounded by perbs? Um, yeah, so Matt, Beyonce. is not on, Matt. Get excited. Are you in now? No. Are you in now? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty mad. Also, I'm still not sure how this is going to be a live action. Uh, I don't get, like, is there just going to be, like, a talking lion or something? Like, they're just going to make a lion with a mouth? It's going to be like Milo Notice, but with, like, lions and shit? Or, like, uh, it, it might be, like, the, uh, the Jungle Book. That's what I'm thinking. I just I'm thinking can't the, wait I think it's going to be like the Jungle me. Book, but I don't really care about that. No. I, I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm thinking three, like, CGI updates to The Lion King. I'm thinking it's going to be like the Jungle Book live action one was, but with... Yeah, sure. I don't care about but that. There's like, no human, though. That's, that's, that's not exciting to me. Like, I'm like, oh, it's a real lion singing. Great. No, it's a that. There's no humans in The Lion King. Did I tell you what to see The Lion King? The, the, yeah, you didn't yeah. win tickets to that? Uh, well, we just got tickets. Oh, I thought you, there was no one you won. Oh, you won. Yeah, like, they tickets. said, do you want, do you want tickets? And we're like, yeah. hey, why don't you give me tickets for that? Yeah. Why don't you give me tickets for that? Yeah, because it took me, like, fucking five days to get tickets. Because, like, we have tickets. And I was like, can I have some? I was like, no. And I was like, you just asked if Listen, you said we have tickets. You have to see Spring Week and the Lion King now. So next show is mine. You help me out here. Matt, you, you help you, me out. Matt, you got all the, the pepper sprays you want, right? No, <laughs> like, free pepper nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I get a keychain every time or, like, a rape whistle? I get rape oh, whistles. Oh, see, there you go. I don't need rape whistles. Just all the rape whistles. <laughs> It doesn't make a sound. This wet whistle for a dog. Something gonna rape by a dog? What's going on? Like, uh, a, like rapists are like, ah! I'm a rapist and I have high I can, functioning <laughs> hearing in other people. Um, I have one thing left, and it's pretty big though. It's pretty. I have a couple things. So let's talk awesome. about which. What's what is it? Star Wars. Okay. So let's talk about first. Let's talk about Chuck. That boom 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 boom. boom. See, Kevin Lutz already was supposed to play this. Uh, Zachary Levi has been cast as Shazam. Shazam. I forgot. He's been cast as Shazam in the Shazam movie. He said he's going to the gym. He's ready to go. I'm I'm down. A lot of people are upset about this because like I'm he's not, not a big dumb guy. No, no. Anyway, any of these guys, Chris Evans wasn't a big dumb guy yeah. before he started getting ready for the shape. And well, they, shape. I think because they guess a lot Henry of people Cavill like John Cena, Cena, and John Cena looks like the yeah, comic drawing of Shazam. Yeah, it's like comic. Yeah. Uh, but Henry Cavill wasn't that in shape either before he yeah. became Superman, and then he got Diesel. It's fuck. But also, it's you could, this is good. This is a good sign because ben Affleck like, too. This means that this movie will not be as serious. And this has been what, yeah. one of the biggest problems with a lot of the uh, DC movies. It's been so serious. This this needs to be the Shazam movie needs to be the Guardians yes, of the Galaxy of the DC. Yeah, universe. and it's not going to be that. But it's going it to be, be. It's going to be copy as good at least. It'll still be probably toy smashing. Yeah, it's going to be comedic at least. Make it funny. Yeah. It needs to be that. It needs to be Suicide Squad. Billy Batson is not a serious. Suicide Squad was fucking terrible. And so this needs to be better. So not only that, but Matt, Mark Strong is being circled to play the villain, Dr. Savannah. No, Mark Strong is a great villain. Yeah. I don't, I, I, so I, I, the space here is because I was supposed to look up who Dr. Savannah was, but I didn't do it. So. 
I, I don't care. I've never heard of that guy. I don't care much. Yeah. Uh, so he'll be Sinestro. Sinestro again. Hey, hey it's DC at least. It's DC, right? I'm back uh, as Sinestro, guys. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, uh, Gary Winnett is back for Telltale's Walking Dead Season 4, the fourth and final season. He's going to be the story consultant. Final season. So he did yeah, the cool. first season, obviously, the season that everyone loved. Um, yeah, I like the third season a lot, too. One, one uh, IGN's Game of the Year and a lot of other awards. Yeah. I like the third season, too. The second season was a little bit of a lull. It was tough. That's why he stopped playing. But I got all the through it. I got all the Gary Winnett back. He did the Rogue One, obviously, too. Another story that a lot of people liked. Um, so it's, it's, that's exciting. That makes yeah. me want to play through two now and get to three and then play four. Play through two. Three is a lot better. Three still has its rough moments. It's not as good as one. Well, actually, in the worst, the worst part is I own two. It's Lee is <laughs> so well done. It's tough yeah. to top oh, that character. Jesus. And when he, when, at, at the end of the it's story. and Clementine's story is. At the end of that story. At the end of that. Oh, just heartbreak. I almost cried. I almost cried. I like the Obama. Right in my feels. Right in my the, feels. Just wipe it. I might drag it. Just drag it. Nobody makes me feel those feelings. Yeah. Right. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Um, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Gerard is back, and he's amazing. Uh, do you want to turn to Stranger Things 2 at all? I've only watched one episode, so... What? I, I've, I've been working so much, and like we like we couldn't watch it this weekend because I was away, so... This is um, me in disbelief. Have thinking. you watched all of it so far? Yes. Oh, you watched all of them? Yes. So I'm not even going to get to watch it until next week, yes. so maybe you talk about it. We're not gonna, I don't know. I don't know we're gonna Let's just say that. Eleven's dead. Eleven is in heaven. Relax. Um, um, the first one's good. I like the first one, but that's all I got for you. Sorry. So, oh, the, yeah, I've so heard, I, okay, so uh, I heard from Bill Seth that, that, that's gonna last that episode seven was shitty. That's all I heard. It wasn't that bad. He's like, it was like, like it was a bridging episode. Shitty, was, shitty bridging trope. Yeah, it was, no, it's was, it tropey and bridging, but it, was, it wasn't that bad. Um, okay. So it wasn't as bad as the, the two, it wasn't as bad as the episode after Cottonmouth. I have killed. two Star Wars pieces of episodes. Star Wars news. And one is a spoiler, potential spoiler, so I'll, we'll do the spoiler chat on the head, but I'm not going to do, do that, that first. Okay, do that. No. What the hell? You're the first one is for Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill said he only uh, came Hamill. back to Star Wars because Har- Harrison, Ford Harrison Ford did. did. Um, I guess I him, guess this is my Mark Hamill he's, he and Carrie Fisher had a meeting with George Lucas about the preliminary meeting about doing the new Star Wars trilogy. And Before Carrie Fisher away from was uh, like 100% in. She was like, yeah, I need money. Whatever, I need money. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, and, but he was very on the fence about it. Because um, he's already, he's made a name for himself. And and places too. Gar- uh, George Lucas said he did not think Harrison Ford would come back. He's like, he's too rich, he's too grumpy and too old, he won't come back. That's what that's, he said. And that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and... So when Harrison, like, Mark Hamill is very offensive, he's like, I don't want, I have it, this character in the history of TV, this, or movies, it's the, the best character of all time, you know? So why come back and ruin this character's legacy? Like, George well, makes him out. We're going to have different spoilers, which is cool, too, so let's, okay. let's, uh... Um, so he was, I was like, thinking. very on the fence about it. Um, and then when he heard Harrison Ford, he's like, I gotta do this now, because Carrie and Harrison are, I gotta do this, you know? So he came back, and yeah. that's so re- the wow. reason he came back was because Harris wow. was Harris like, uh, why don't you just glue it back on? And they put him in. Um, uh, and then the other one is a spoiler. This is a spoiler. And, and I, mine's a little bit of might be so, a spoiler, too. So this might be so. after you fin thank Foom with 38 minutes. It's already pretty long. Yeah, so, holy crap. Okay, so this is, um, uh, I guess there is a spoiler on Kylo Ren saying what um, Ray's parentage might be. Luke, it's Luke. Um, he said, uh, in an interview, he said, you also have, he said, you all, you have also the hidden identity of this princess who is hiding who she really is so she can survive and Kylo Ren and her hiding behind these artifices and driver, wait, no, I said driver. And so Ray, is he saying Ray is a princess? A princess? Like, does that mean she's Princess Leia and Han Solo's daughter? Does that mean she's Why another, another princess of some sort? Well, here there, there's a Gunch. theory. There is a big theory that she is Snoke's daughter. That Han did not recognize her because she was a baby, like a, a young girl when he was. And also, Han was away. a shitbird. Yeah, yeah, and Han was a shitbird. He got taken. He left. Was, no, he a he fucking left though. But that's <laughs> he left, uh, and so he didn't really recognize her. But there are signs that he may have recognized her, like around the Cantina Maz Kanata scene, yeah. and Maz. When she went up and did the little thing where she got in her face, that was her recognizing. Oh, she's she's a solo, 
And then, like, them hugging at the end, like, why would, why would Leia hug this girl that she just met? Like that. Maybe she's really nice, or maybe she realizes she's it's Snoke. her daughter, and they don't Oh, yeah, her. okay, sorry. I thought Snoke. How dare, dare you? Snoke. How dare you? But she's Snoke. It's, it um, and, but, why would he say princess? That's a weird thing. It, maybe she's another kind of princess. Like maybe she's the princess of Naboo, or the princess of uh, uh, Yavin 4. I don't know. They have a princess there? No, their no, government is definitely she's the Ewok princess. They have a provincial government. Yeah, they definitely have a democracy. Yeah, I mean, come on. Look at the trees. Look at the trees there. Lots of trees. They have the They temples. have an authoritarian leadership, but it's a dictatorship that's not in my So opinion. I actually have a different... It might be a spoiler, potentially. Okay. So the Lucasfilm's president, Kathleen Kennedy, confirms that there's a 10-year plan that's going to go past episode 9. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so in in her own words, she says the future story is beyond Episode Nine, with these new characters Ray, Poe, Finn, and BB-8. And so, these still alive. There's a significance there because yeah. it says she doesn't say Kylo Ren though, which is interesting. But she does say these characters. So, does that mean that they, that, including Poe, who a lot of people have been speculating is going to die in this, yeah. this, this this movie? Yeah. Uh, do you think that those guys are all living and Kylo does not? And Kylo does not. So yeah. maybe Kylo is redeemed and dies. Exactly. Or yeah, like Vader style. Yeah. Vader yeah. style. Yeah. Uh, but they also said because um, that Episode Nine is the the end of the Skywalker saga, that they want these characters there because they want to start like whether it's Ray or Poe or someone else. Probably gonna be Ray, but but it's someone else. They want to start their own saga for them. I'm I'm all for years. that. I really like the Ray character. I think Finn's character is gonna be cool, and I like. Where they could be going with it. Hopefully they do go Being a love interest for Poe Dameron. Yeah. I like that too. Might be cool with that. Bros for life, man. Mm-hmm. Like, Thunder Buddies, those guys. Not us. We're not in love. We, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> That's why you got divorced. No. Uh, but um, uh, Poe, uh, I think they have a big story to tell. I really like those characters. I like the way they... F- uh, and uh, There's a lot of stuff they could do with Poe to flesh out his character. There's... BB-8 is a droid. He'll be there. Do you think that BB-8... They love bb Do you think that BB-8 will fall in love with the other... With the black... Droid. Yeah, the, with the black, black ball droid. The black baller. Black baller droid? <laughs> Unless you're um, a black baller, you never go back baller. Um, yeah, and, and then they're like... Lights, like guys. Or maybe they fight. They just keep shooting the little lasers that come out. Or he like... He pulls a little lighter... The little lighter out and lights it. And they have to like fight each other like that. <laughs> Not like that. Stay classy, guys. Finn, bang, boom. We love you. I think it's it's wizards.